a small introduction about the power transmission and distribution how it will happen we are this why it is happening we are discussing basically in our india generating voltage is the 11 kv voltage that 11 kv voltage directly we can transmit directly we can transmit and uh, we directly we can transmit nearest to in your village nearest to in your village 11 kv what are the advantages what are the disadvantages is there directly generating voltage is 11 that direct voltage is coming to near to your home near to your village 11 kv what are the disadvantages is there the generating voltage is the 11 kv the generating voltage is the 11 kv the amps is the amps is the high the amps is the high means the amps is the high means the conductor size the conductor area the conductor cross sectional area it will be high the conductor cross sectional area it will be high it means the weight the conductor weight is increasing the overall cost it will be increasing the direct the, the directly generating 11 kV voltage directly coming to in nearest in our village 11 kV amps is high that corresponding 11 kV voltage cross sectional area conductor size is required more after that conductor size is required more means the weight of the conductor also is more the cost also it will be high after that one more point your generating voltage is the 11 kV that 11 kV directly you can come into near to your village drop voltage drop also is high how voltage drop it will be high if it is the your generating voltage is the 11 kV that coming into your nearest home 10 kV is coming so some voltage will be drop is happen voltage drop is happen this is the one disadvantage this is the one more disadvantage finally yeah, these two losses is happen the efficiency you will get less the efficiency you will get less that is the reason we are not using directly that 11 kV voltage not transmitted into nearest your home this 11 kV voltage we can step up into up to 400 kV voltage after that that 400 kV voltage we can transmit it into some kilometers after that we can step down in the nearest uh, we can step down after the 132 again we can step down into 33 33 kV or 11 kV that lovely kv you can use nearest in your village you can step up means current it will be you can step up means voltage is power is constant we cannot change from generating to here distribution power is it should be constant but voltage is step up obviously current it will be reducing conductor size is reducing uh, weight of the conductor size is reducing cost it will be reducing after that Second point, voltage. If it is the 11 kV, 10 kV voltage is coming. Some drop is happening in 1 kV. But in step up, up to 400 kV voltage, we can drop up to 399 kV is coming. 1 kV, here also 1 kV is drop has happening. But compared to this, this is the less voltage drop. After that, uh, less voltage drop. Voltage drop is less losses also conductor size the losses also less you will get the more efficiency we are using this transmission and dish we are using this transmission uh, we are using uh, high we do the, uh, we convert it into high voltage after that we can transmit after that we can distribute we are using these are the disadvantages is happening that is the reason we are step up again step down Again, uh, primary dish, uh, uh, step down, primary step down, secondary step down after we are using. These are uh, the advantages is there. Why we are using this transmission distribution lines. Transmission and distribution. The power transmission and distribution. Previously, we were discussing a uh, generation. Generation is, uh, demo is completed. Now, power transmission and distribution. Why? you will uh, transmit this much of distance uh, through consumer how one by one we are discussing 
first if you go for the generation first if you go for the power plant in this power plant power was generated so many conventional sources is there conventional and non conventional sources is so many is there uh, we are using those uh, energy sources we we are generating the power we are generating the power if you go for the conventional sources if it is uh, hydro power plant steam power plant gas power plant and uh, nuclear power plant these are all the conventional power plants after if you go for the non conventional power plant non conventional power plant is the solar wind uh, geothermal biomass with the help of those uh, non conventional energy sources we are generating the power finally we are generating the power in power plant if it is the thermal power plant in this thermal power plant we are generating the voltage is 11 kv this 11 kv voltage we are generating this 11 kv voltage we are transmitting we are we are transmitting and distributing with uh, we are power supply we are giving to the consumers how we are discussed this 11 kv voltage generating voltage is the 11 kv voltage this 11 kv voltage we can step up into up to 400 kv voltage with help of step up power transformer with help of step up power transformer the 11 kv voltage we can convert it into 4 power 400 kv voltage after that we can transmit with help of towers some kilometers was transmitted after that again one more substation is there in that substation 400 kV voltage we can step down into 132 kV this 400 kV voltage is nothing but more than extra high voltage this more than extra high voltage we can down into extra high voltage 132 kV is the extra high voltage this substation with the help of transformer that 400 kV voltage we can step down into 132 kV voltage after that we can travel with the help of towers some distance again some substation is there this substation uh, transformer is available in uh, this, this transformer is the step down transformer 132 kV voltage is step down into 11 or 33 kV as per your convenience it's a step down after this this is the substation after this 33 kV or 11 kV some industrials they are taken directly 33 kV or 11 kV but in small houses purpose we are required in a single phase or three phase in 415 or 230 voltage is required we are, after this 33 kV or 11 kV voltage we can travel with the help of poles we can travel some distance after nearest to your village or your home nearest to your village some small uh, pole mounted transformers is there this pole mounted transformer is 11 kV or 33 kV that 11 kV or 33 kV we can convert it into we can step down into 415 voltage after that this 415 voltage with the help of in our village so many poles is there those poles 415 and motor also is generated 4, wi four wires is with the help of poles is transmitted in your village in your village near to your home poles also is coming those poles you are connected these four cables through in your home energy meter in your home in your home energy meter after that you are using if you require a single phase take one k one phase and one motor if you require in three phase if you connect in four cables after that these are the huge uses of your home applicants home applicants are motors lights heaters ups all types of home applications you are you are using in this areas you are using in this areas uh, one by one we are discussing in your transmission uh, tra in transmission level uh, what are the types of poles is there how much spacing is required conductor conductor how much space is required uh, after that how much distance is required pole to pole how much distance is required what are the types of transformers is there and what are the uh, problems is happen in uh, transmission and distribution and what are the uh, insulations we are using in that uh, towers or poles area what are the insulation types we are using what are the problems ca is happening in transmission and distribution areas 
we are discussing in one by one this power system in generating station we are using generators we are using generating system we are using a generators in step down step up purpose we are using transformers step down purpose we are using transformers consumer applications is the motor means generators transformer step up trans step down step up transformer step down transformer and motors these four devices these three devices we are discussing in machine subject after generation transmission and distribution after application this is the power system this is the power system generation and demand generation and consumer usage and generation and demand uh, controlling purpose how much was how much your uh, demand is there how much is generating is there uh, this coordination purpose we are using a control system we can control the system the control system subject is coming after that applicants you are uses applicants upss and we are using a zone to zone conversion zone to zone hvdc high voltage dc current we can transmit it we are we are discussing with hvdc subject in conversion places in your applications inverters and rectifiers and your con uh, converting stations high voltage high voltage dc current some uh, reason to reason so example for a southern region to north region north region to southern region the power supply is required we are this uh, this uh, transmission one zone, one region one zone to one, uh, another zone power transmission purpose we are using hvdc this is also one more subject uh, starting to ending up to applicants some basics a yeah, what is the ac power what is the dc power what are the Uh, elements is there what uh, resistance inductance and capacitance this small introduction is the basic electrical subject in this power system all electrical subjects is coming if you in perfect in power system means machines uh, after that one more subject uh, generation to distribution voltage current power frequency some so many parameters is there these parameters we are measuring required measurements are instruments means you 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 are in perfect in power system machines subject is coming hvdc subject is coming control system subject is coming power system subject is coming basic electrical subject is coming if you are in perfect in power system means this entire all subjects you are perfect